Hi, my name is Ken McKinnon. I'm 66 years old and I'm speaking from Cultus Lake, British Columbia, not too far from Chilliwack. And this is called Waiting on the Lord. There's a song that goes like this. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as the eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and shall not faint. Like the song goes, teach me, Lord, teach me, Lord, how to wait. Well, that's what I've been doing since the spring of 2009. I'm a born-again Christian, baptized by Jesus with the Holy Ghost, as it says in Matthew 3.11, in December of 2002. And since the spring of 2009, the Creator of heaven and earth has led me to know things from the very beginning and given me two visions of the end. And I must speak of these things. And I'm going to speak, I'm going to start at the very beginning. I'm going to start at Genesis 4. Genesis 4, 7. This is the Creator speaking to Cain. And he says, If you do well, surely you know you'll be accepted. And if not, sin lieth at the door. And unto thee, will be unto him will be your desire I better get this right and unto thee shall be his desire listen to this comma and thou shalt rule over him and that's what happened Cain killed his brother he he followed his desire the enemy and then, it says, and thou shalt rule over him. The Creator said that Cain's going to heaven will overcome the world. That's the first prophecy in Genesis 4. The second and most interesting prophecies came in Genesis 4, 20 and 21 and 22. This is the Creator the creator prophecy, the creator's prophecy. And Ada, this is the seventh generation after Cain. And Ada bare Jabel. He was the father of such that live in tents and have cattle. And his brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all such as handle the harp and, and organ. All. Man doesn't live by bread alone, but by every word spoken out of the mouth of the Lord, saith God in Deuteronomy. And, hallelujah. And they had a stepbrother. She also bare Tublicane, an instructor of every artificer in brass and iron. Well, that sounds like uh, the words all and every mean something. And then, in the last two verses, the sixth generation, Lamech said unto his wives, Hear my voice, ye wives of Lamech. Hearken unto my speech, for I have slain a man to my wounding and a young man to my hurt. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, Truly, Lamech, seventy and sevenfold. How was Cain avenged sevenfold? Before they list the seven generations after Cain, it says, The Lord said, Whoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. 
And the Lord set a mark on Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. Go back to what Lamech said. Cain was avenged sevenfold. Seven generations. Truly Lamech. Seventy. Seventy-seven generations. So, for the prophecies that the Creator said about Jabal, Jubal, and Tubalcain to come true, all flesh did not die on the, on the flood. Because if you look at Genesis 6 and Genesis 7, every reference to the flood does, is on the ground, the face of all the earth off the face of the earth, upon 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 the earth. Dry land, dry land, upon the face of the ground, from the earth, upon the earth. There were three things that covered the world when the flood happened 4,200 years ago, just like there's three things that cover the world today. There's earth, there's water, and there's ice. So for the prophecies that the Creator gave in Genesis 4, that he has revealed to this, his servant, to come true. The seed of Cain, survived on ice. Thus saith the Lord. This is the Lord's revelation. <clears throat> That's good for that, Doug. Please.